Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Uh, that was indeed uh, informative and educational to see an entire warehouse full of seizures uh, as part of the regular drug traffic coming across our border. My name is John Franklin. I'm the mayor of the city of Vista in northern San Diego County. Vista is known as the climatic wonderland. It's a beautiful city with middle class and working class families. We're also a community made up overwhelmingly of immigrants. 50% of the people in my city are of Latino or Hispanic origin. Nearly a third speak Spanish and 13% speak only Spanish. I believe that America is and must always remain a beacon of hope for immigrants from all around the world. We honor our immigrant heritage and we welcome those who come to our country to contribute to our society. We recognize our obligation to mankind to provide safe harbor for those who are persecuted in their home countries and have legitimate asylum claims. I fully support those who come here lawfully. The United States of America affords more opportunities for lawful immigration than the rest of the nations of the world combined. But we also have a right to expect that the persons in our society abide by our laws. The President is required by the Constitution to take care to faithfully execute the laws. Unfortunately, President Biden and Vice President Harris have decided to ignore our border and immigration laws. And I want to tell you today what the Biden-Harris open border has done to my community. The San Diego County Medical Examiner reported recently 1,203 people died last year of drug overdose. That is double the rate from just a few years ago. Fentanyl is being smuggled across our border by the drug cartels every single day, yet the administration refuses to take decisive action. One of these victims was my own friend's son. He died taking what he thought was Adderall. He bought it from a dealer whose product has certainly killed others. We're also dealing with high rates of crime. Statistics on crimes committed by illegal immigrants in California are not available because, unlike in Texas, California state policymakers refuse to allow our local law enforcement to collect these data. But over 441,000 criminal non-citizens were booked into Texas jails in recent years, including more than 542,000 criminal offenses recorded by non-citizen uh, criminals. Those included 1,000 homicide charges, 69,000 assault charges, 9,700 for burglary, 63,000 for drug charges, 1,200 for kidnapping, 27,000 for theft, 42,000 for obstruction of police activities, 3,000 for robbery, 6,800 for sexual assault, 7,800 for sexual offenses, and 6,600 for weapons charges. Now, the San Diego border sector receives approximately 20%, 26% of the traffic that the Texas sector does, so we can extrapolate that tens of thousands of crimes are committed in our community, the same as in Texas, that would not have occurred if we had a secure border. In Vista, I organized an anti-retail theft task force to address the epidemic of shoplifting that we're facing in our community. As we, addressed, as we arrested shoplifters, we discovered that these are not people in need. These are people who are part of organized criminal organizations. They're stealing compact valuables that they can easily convert to cash. Several of the stores in my community, including some grocery stores and drug stores, have been forced to close in the last couple of years, creating food deserts in working class communities. Another impact of the open border. Illegal workers are driving down the wages of American citizens. They take jobs often that pay below market rate and work without the protection of our U.S. labor laws. I want to make a point that illegal labor is unfair to our American workers and it is also unfair to illegal laborers. I've toured our open and porous border numerous times in recent years and I've watched with puzzlement when Biden, the Biden-Harris administration took office as the prefabricated sections of the border fence remained on the ground and rusted and laid to waste after President Biden and Vice President Harris refused to complete the fence, leaving some 37 holes in the San Diego border sector through which, as you saw in your tour yesterday, people walk through every day by the thousands. I have seen, as you probably saw yesterday, the discarded ladders. And so when we talk about people buying a taller ladder to climb over that fence, I hear that, but I also hear from U.S. Border Patrol agents directly that the fence is a the wall is a force multiplier, allowing just several agents to patrol a mile of walled border where hundreds are required to patrol a mile of open border. A nation without borders is no nation at all. We must always be a nation that honors our heritage as a land of immigrants, but also one that expects everyone in our society, including newcomers, to abide by our laws equally. I call today on President Biden and Vice President Harris to enforce and uphold 
our border, to secure our border, and enforce our laws for the safety of our community. Thank you. Thank you.